Black Man Steve, welcome to my channel. Um, just got to do my spot for one night of uh, solo wild camping. I've just been walking around these woods with my 65 litre bag for about an hour and 20 minutes trying to find the perfect spot. And um, I've got what I've got behind me, so I'm just going to have to make do with this. It's nice and enclosed. This is my only issue there but it, you know it might work well for hanging the bag and stuff so we'll see um, a little bit of background noise you can hear them out the way um, it's not too bad uh, over there for over a point over there there's a, a wood yard where someone lives and then I don't know if you can see it over in that direction there's some houses so I've tried to go half and half to get away from them but when you look at this spot you know it's really covered so I want to get set up getting dark outside and um, got my little stove with me tonight um, not try never used this so I'm interested to see how it works um, I'm gonna have simple burgers two mint and honey lamb burgers I've got some buns and cheese prepared and a bit of barbecue sauce so I'll try them out I'm going to um, cheat with the uh, fire starter I've got this little fire start here I'm going to put that in Well, that didn't work. <clears throat> right, take two. Oh, for God's sake. I thought these things were good. Obviously not. Let it burn a bit, let it burn my fingers. You just put it in there and it goes out. It would have been easier with a flint.
Let's let it get burning a bit. There we go. It's going a bit now. Let's get some sticks in there. Good little stove, isn't it? I think. I'm liking it so far. Right. Let's get the burgers on. Smoked burgers, I think. Do you know what I forgot? Some tongs. It's going to be interesting when it comes to lifting this over. Yummy. So I've got one burger on the go. My buns I made earlier. Cheese. Cheese in there. And then I've got barbecue sauce in a pot. So this one should be done soon. Making this little stuff is good. So, what I'm going to do, put no utensils, so, fun, turn it upside down, voila. how you do it. One ready? Let's get the other one out. Now that is a tasty lamb burger, a lamb minted burger, second one, cooked on my new little stove, happy with that, that's a success, little pan up there, 
admit it's not very bushcraft <laughs> but then again it was a little cheap aluminium one I bought um, yeah I've done the job I'll be taking this stove out I think a bit more often so it's starting to um, starting to lose the light a little bit now so I've um, got to do a little bit of filming before I uh, sit down enjoy some hobgoblin then uh, mint and lamb burgers absolutely lovely um, just got the little um, stove going just as a little fire just going to keep it in there nothing like this the problem with this place is it gets abused a lot and most of the trees are falling and dead so this this is okay but as you can see the tarp is at its limit literally I've had to make it fit so it's been good so yeah I think for a lot of people um, when I tell them or if I tell them I'm um, going into the woods to camp in a hammock they think you're absolutely bonkers but you know until you try it don't knock it and um, for me I work in an office so I'm stuck indoors all day every day and this for me is an escape basically um, you can hear now the motorway starting to die down you can hear the birds in the background I'm gonna sit there over there in the hammock swing and get pissed basically what more could you want so yeah if you've never been wild camping before give it a go it's um scary at first but then it's um it gets a lot more pleasurable So on the last bit of light now, it's starting to really come down. It gets a lot darker in the woods with all the tree cover. Um, I wasn't going to, uh, but I decided I'll have a little campfire. I like a little campfire. Um, it was easier as well because my little cooking stove already had flames going, so I just chucked that in there and uh, away we have it. So we've got a nice clear area there which I can you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna be any forest fires. Dug a nice big pit and then in the morning we cleared it up, put it all back, you never know it'll even been there. So I'm enjoying myself now, sitting back, enjoying the fruits of my labour. There's home. Lovely. Hey YouTubers. Um it's getting dark now fire's dying out I'm uh, on my last can of hobgoblin chilling out um, ready to go to bed soon so I will see you in the morning but before that look at that swing in here with a can of this stuff um, just about see it probably Light, headlamp, there's hobgoblin there. But yeah, see you in the morning. about four in the morning I'm not gonna lie it's been a bit of a struggle trying to sleep here we're really close to the motorway so all you hear is cars whooshing past at god knows what speed um, you'd think in the morning or at night it would calm down a bit but no it's just been constant so it's been a bit hard trying to sleep <sighs> Uh, woke up for a piss for do it on the fire that helped it cool it down a bit
couldn't sleep. That bloody motorway is keeping me up. So I packed away my sleeping bag. Packed away my underquilt. Just left the tarp and the hammock up. It's about five o'clock now, so I'm just going to wait for daylight. And then we're going to pack up and go home. Because, yeah, it's just lovely being out here, but that motorway can piss off. Well, guys, um, sorry the whole camp was a little bit short lived and didn't get to see any daylight. Um, but yeah, I just I just couldn't sleep by that motorway. Still, my head in, so packed up. Hard work getting out the woods in the dark. Luckily, I know the woods very well. Um, just on my way home now. If you um, if you like the video, give it a like, thumbs up. Um, if you want to see any more videos like this, then uh, please subscribe to the channel. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.